pin games may be old school, but they are a classic. Guaranteed never fail to entertain kids <laughs> from a few minutes to hours. I'm Shauna Powell. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into today's video. All right, the first one is classic tic-tac-toe. One is a twist on Hangman, but Hangman is depressing and ugh, controversial. Let's go with Mouse and Cheese version that I found over on Right Ideas with Susan YouTube channel. I'll link her channel in the description box down below, but you basically play it like Hangman, except it's a mouse trying to get some cheese. Boxes and Dots. I don't know if this is the official name of this game, but I used to play it in church when I was little. It's a bunch of dots and you try to make some some boxes by connecting and taking turns, connecting the dots together to form boxes. When you form a box, you put your initial in it. It's a great two player game. Connect the Dots. There are tons of free Connect the Dots games on the interwebs, Amazon. I'll link a few of my favorites in the description box or in a row. I have a free template of this over on my website. It's basically Connect Four, but for paper. Vulture and Crows is a really cool one. I have a whole video on how to play it. I'll link that video down below, but basically it's a vulture trying to get some crows and the crows are, crows are trying to escape. It's a great two player game. And yes, I have a template for it. MASH. <laughs> how many of you played MASH? in middle school or high school. Me, me, me. <laughs> I have an old school MASH template as well. This is basically a fortune, very accurate fortune telling. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. I spy. This is where you have a whole bunch of pictures and you try to find the little objects within the picture and you color them in or you circle them. And can you name it? This is a play on words. This is great for older kids. Basically, you're trying to solve the riddle that has the word can in it. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.